So in this video we will look into how we can generate a mesh uh, boolean operation for yeah complex geometries here in Rhino. So yeah, let's get started. So let's get started. Um, let's assume we have this uh, two or this this various meshes here, and we want to create some geometry in between that uh, yeah is cut away by these two 3D scanned rocks, for instance. Um, you want to make sure that instead of using the boolean, because these are meshes, as you can see here, yeah, closed meshes. You have to, um, you cannot use the conventional boolean over here, but instead you have to go into mesh boolean and there use the difference. So we have to make sure if you place a box that you, or if you have any other geometry, let's say, yeah, this is already a mesh, but let's say you have a few, you have a cube like that, that is not a mesh, you can easily translate that into, from NURBS object into a mesh. So let's do that, um, press OK, and now if you select here you see you have the extrusion which we can delete and you have the mesh. And then we want to place it in between these two blocks here. Um, let's do that. And let's further assume you don't only want, you only have, don't have one block but maybe two blocks like that, maybe of different sizes or something like that, or maybe even three of these. And before cutting away with these, let's maybe hide that for now. So you see we have uh, different blocks over here, different heights. So these are all meshes now, yeah? And what you can do to, yeah, to make these one object, you can just go mesh, um, boolean, and then union. So you see now it's one object. And then let's dehide our block. And then similar to the yeah, bringing, bringing in objects, we can also delete from that. So let's go to difference. And now it asks us select first set of mesh surface or poly surfaces. So that would be these, and then we select the second set, and it will cut that. Now you noticed uh, the other objects are gone, and yeah, I cannot bring these back. What I would recommend, you just select this, and you copy it, and then you go back. You have all your objects back, you paste it, and now you have, let's hide this, you still have the original blocks, which you can also hide, but you also have your um, yeah, highly detailed um, block over here. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that was a quick and easy uh, tutorial that helped you how to uh, use mesh boolean operation in Grasshopper. Um, if you have any questions or comments or things that you'd like to know, leave a comment in the uh, yeah, leave a comment or get in touch with me and I'll try to answer that as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.